the bank transaction flow now let us just understand the timing the payer issues the check to the beneficiary on 1st january let us first take the case of a bearer check in case of a bearer check let us assume the beneficiary has collected the cash only on 4th january as a result we see that the payer passes entries in his books on 1st january but his bank passes the entries only on 4th january this is in the case of a bearer check what happens in the case of a cross check in the case of a cross check the payer has issued the check on 1st january however the beneficiary deposits it only on 4th january let us assume that the check goes for clearing on 5th january and finally the check is cleared and the payer's bank debited only on 7th january in this case we note in case of a cross check the payer issues the check on first and therefore records this transaction in his books on the first however the bank debits his account only on 7th january as far as the beneficiary is concerned the beneficiary deposits the check on 4th january and therefore records the same in his books on 4th january the bank however would be crediting his account either on 5th january or on 7th january this indicates that there is a time gap between when an account holder records the transactions in his books and when the bank records it in its books suppose we take this example where the payer has issued the check on first but the bank has debited his account only on fourth on the first on the second and on the third there will be a difference in the balances as shown in the payer's books and that shown in the bank's books. this is the whole idea behind bank reconciliation statement